All right, it's time to take a look at components. Uh, so we'll go into what's available, how to add, edit, and remove different components. And uh, it's the section over here on the right. So if it was uh, kind of slid in, uh, we would just simply click on the plus sign, which is add components, and the components toolbar slides right out. Uh, these are what go inside your app screen. So if you're creating an app from a template like we are, the initial screens are already preloaded with a few components. Uh, of course, these must be customized, and to do so, as you'll remember from our last video, you simply click on each component as it arises. So the text right here, text name, I can undo that quickly, and uh, interact with it directly on the screen. So right now I just clicked on a menu component, and the menu popped up right over here. We don't want to do anything with that, so we'll just close it. Um, if you're looking to add new screens or add components to existing screens, there are definitely quite a few options, as you can see just by scrolling. Uh, so there's images and galleries, as we see here. They're in use on most of the screens uh, to make your app beautiful. There's offline videos, which are uploaded from your computer, and online videos, which are uploaded by a URL. Uh, there's a number of different types of lists, so you can see a super simple list right over here in the speakers profiles like that. Uh, there's lists with small thumbnails, lists with large thumbnails, lists from a data source, which we'll cover more detail later, uh, grids and sliders. Uh, so it's all pretty much based on aesthetics and what exactly you want the list to do. There are also buttons, which you can see in use here and customize by clicking on them. So we can just change that to button name and say display another screen which would be the menu so i won't actually save that because we're not going to use it but you get the general idea if we wanted to add a linkedin url we could go ahead and do that there uh, there's also accordions which are great for listing information and expanding in greater detail so if you have a lot of text that you don't want to show all on one screen you can kind of, uh, you know, kind of have a little drop down and the text will appear, then close it when you're done. Uh, there's also data capture, like forms and surveys, uh, also signups and more custom code forms. There's an RSS feed for news, so we can kind of see that over here in the event photo feed, um, also very customizable. So you can see like that. Different security features like logins, different verifications and locks, uh, also a ton of data visualization. So if you have a kind of data heavy or uh, presentation based app, probably good in this event app actually, you can go ahead and use some of that here. There's also a portal app, which links to other Fliplet apps. Uh, this is really good if your organization has multiple apps for users to download and complete their experience. There's also a number of other features. Uh, we'll go into greater detail on each of these sections later um, and how to configure them in upcoming videos, but for now, the best way to learn is to practice. So go add some components to your demo app and uh, keep watching the videos to learn more.